Patrick Lundqvist to the USA when he won Olympic gold at Los Angeles four years ago. John, how do you assess this field? Well, actually, it's going to be probably a world record swim itself. There'll certainly be a record pace at the wall. Lundqvist, do you remember, won over the fact that John Moffat pulled a groin muscle in 1984. You're going to see a lot of athletes in here, two or three of which were in that race in Los Angeles. As Adrian Morehouse, 24 years old from Great Britain. He was, you see, fourth in the breaststroke. And this breaststroke 100 meters at the 84 games and was so disappointed he retired briefly, as did Richard Schroeder. Now let's take a look now and meet the swimmers. Richard Schroeder, 26 years old, swimming for the USA in lane one. He was the seventh fastest qualifier. In lane two, Giovanni Minervini from Italy swam collegially, was an NCAA champion at UCLA, a brilliant student. He is studying chemistry and engineering at UCLA, and he's a threat. In lane three, from the Soviet Union, Dmitry Volkov, 22 years old. Dmitry Volkov was troubled by an injury, but has come back nicely. Adrian Moorhouse in lane four. He was the fastest qualifier. One of the premier sprint breaststrokers in the world. He was first in the 86 World Championships in this event, but later disqualified for an illegal term. In lane five, we have Victor Davis of Canada, another top contender. He won in 84 at the Olympic Games in the 200-meter breaststroke and set a world record. He won the gold medal in the 100-meter breaststroke at the uh, 1986 World Championships after Morehouse was disqualified. This is a man who has a bit of a temper at the Commonwealth Games in Canada one year in the presence of Queen Elizabeth. He kicked a chair in disgust over his time. He was mad, didn't care who knew it. Lane six is Karoli Gettler, a Hungarian swimmer. Lane seven from East Germany is Christian Hoswiat. And in lane eight, another Hungarian, Hungary with two swimmers in this final, Thomas Debnar with the good hat. So he swims in lane eight. You know, Don, what I hear is the lanes three and five are going to go out for it. The first 50, they're really drop-dead sprinters. They're going to really go for it. Davis, I'm sorry, isn't a drop-dead sprinter. He's a world record holder in the 200, so he thinks he'll have enough to hang on. The Soviet Dmitry Volkov in lane three is just going to go out as fast as he possibly can. And Morehouse will be basically pulled along in between them. This is the slowest of the four swimming strokes, the breaststroke. The race is two lengths of this 50-meter pool. There's the favorite fastest qualifier, Adrian Moorhouse. He spent time in his career training in the Soviet Union. Difficult stroke, isn't it, John? There's a lot of coordination, a lot of synchronization between the kick and the pull. They have to be done separately but in sync. Well, perhaps I'm oversimplifying it, but it's like tapping your head and rubbing your stomach at the same time. You've got to do it for a long time, and timing is so critical. They're on the blocks. This is the gold medal swim in the men's 100-meter breaststroke. All start. All start. Giovanni Minervini from UCLA. He shaved his head last night since the preliminaries. He really wants to do a job on this. It's really going to be interesting. They go. They get in their set position. You take a look at lane two. It'll be second from the top. This is Giovanni Minervini. He's going to just lean too much. The starter sees him leaning, and he goes. Richard Schroeder in the lane next to him says, well, if he's going to get wet and loosen down, I might as well also. Now, that false start is charged to the entire field. So on the third time... A swimmer who falls starts the third time, regardless of whether they were at fault in the first two, will get automatically disqualified. I should note one real, th real quick thing. Morehouse in lane four did a dolphin kick at the World Championships off the wall. That is cause for disqualification. There was a similar instance in 1972 when a Japanese swimmer was accused of this, but officials don't like controversy at the Olympics. So the question is, will Morehouse use that knowledge and try to get away with something, or will he stick to the letter of the law? That's what we're wondering. And that's what we're going to find out right now. They're away, it is a good start. The men's 100-meter breaststroke. Out of the dive, swimming well in lane three is Dmitry Volkov from the Soviet Union, and he has the lead after the first 25 meters. Swimming in the yellow cap. He's going for it, no question about it. Giovanni Minervini in lane two is swimming well also. Schroeder's come out nicely in lane one for the USA at the top of your screen. As they go to the turn, and now 50 meters to the medals. 50 meters to go in the men's 100-meter breaststroke, and they are faster than the world record split. They comfortably so, Don. Six-tenths of a second. That's a big chunk in the 100. Richard Schroeder of the USA is starting to contend, but right now, Dmitry Volkov is still leading the race. The 22-year-old Soviet. 
who was out with a serious hand injury, came back to qualify well yesterday. And now, with 10 meters to swim, heading for the wall and the finish, it is Dmitry Volkov going for gold, coming up fast as Adrian Morehouse, who might touch him out. And it looks like it might be Morehouse. It is Adrian Morehouse wins Olympic gold in the men's 100-meter breaststroke. Just touching out Gutler of Hungary, who also closed quickly as the Soviet faded and Volkov, who led, but looked like he was going to go start to finish, ended up third for the bronze. The American swimmer, Schroeder, was sixth in the race. Most amazing finish. Take a look here. The Soviets leading. Morehouse at the bottom of the screen is going to go for him. As, the, as we open up the picture, you see just at the bottom in lane six, the Hungarian has probably got a lead, but he makes a lunge. Morehouse makes the lunge at the better time. The Hungarian lunged too soon and ran up short. Adrian Morehouse ran him down from the rear. An amazing swim. And now let's take a look at the official results of the men's 100-meter breaststroke. Morehouse of Great Britain is the winner. He gets gold. Gutler of Hungary is second silver. Volkov of the Soviet Union gets the bronze. For John Neighbor, this is Don Crickey at Swim.